the outer layer of your teeth, the enamel, is the hardest substance in your body. But under the right conditions involving bacteria, sugars, and a sticky film called plaque, tooth decay can begin in the enamel, then spread to deeper layers of the tooth. One of the most common places for decay to start is on the crown, or visible part of a molar tooth. The crown, which is covered with enamel, has pointed or rounded projections called cusps. Pits, furrows, and grooves between the cusps may be quite deep and difficult to clean with a toothbrush. The thick, slippery part of saliva that helps food slide down your esophagus, called mucin, may cling in these grooves and pits. Bacteria and food debris stick to the mucin, gradually creating a thick, concentrated film called plaque. Some of the bacteria, including species of Streptococcus and Lactobacillus, produce acids when they digest sugar, their favorite food. The plaque keeps the acid in contact with the enamel, where it gradually dissolves the minerals that make the enamel hard. A cavity starts to form. There are no living cells in the enamel, so usually a cavity that is limited to the enamel layer causes no pain. A tissue called dentin lies just below the enamel at the crown. Tooth decay moves into the dentin as it progresses. Decay spreads faster in the dentin than in the enamel. It tends to form a soft area of decayed material that is larger than the decayed surface of the enamel. The enamel may eventually collapse where it is undermined by the decayed dentin. Within the dentin lies the pulp, which includes the pulp chamber and the root canals, through which nerves and blood vessels enter the tooth. Untreated decay may progress from the dentin to the pulp. Because the pulp contains nerves, decay that has reached the pulp often causes a toothache. When decay extends into the pulp, a small sac of pus, called an abscess, may form. An abscess may cause intense pain. An infection that has reached the pulp or underlying bone may also cause serious illness by spreading to other parts of the body through the blood vessels in the pulp or the jawbone. 